Hello everybody. Here's the pink rose walkthrough. This is where it'll go and here is said journal. Before I lay it down I want you to see everything closer so you can see what you're getting up close. So this is handmade. It's just a belly band for the journal um, and it's to hold the journal together and these things have all been sewn on and I hand painted these you so you can see it better. There's the rose. Uh, the back side of it is not as pretty, but it's just an, uh, an old earring. Uh, it was actually probably a vintage earring. This is a pendant uh, or a charm, if you want, Will, of some leaves. And I just, I colorized them as well. And they were bronze looking colored. And I didn't like that. I wanted it to be the green because it's supposed to represent the leaves that go with the... Uh, pretty little rose. And those hang from your spine jewelry. I even made a heart with the hoop. So, and they're on, it's on a uh, bulldog clip. And this is where you'll clip it, is right there. It's meant to, I didn't want to have any sewing too close to the spot up here so that that can go in there, no problem. Uh, it does have a covered journal and I'll show you, I mean covered spine. I'll show you that in just a minute. And then you also get a little heart here with a key on it to represent the... And then we have all these little frilly bits that goes in here, even the locket. Uh, you can put anything you wish in there. You can even wear it if you want to. It's very pretty. And then we have all these... This is just a bunch of laces and eyelash string, Got laces and ribbons and um, crystals and also... Um, a heart pendant um, locket and you also have in here little charms of pearl here and I think that I thought there was a second pearl but I guess not yeah there it is and there's another pearl but that is the spine jewelry that hangs from her I didn't want to take too much away from the journal itself so I tried to keep this as minimal as I could. The green is to represent the green in the journal. And you have this little bit of green. And then you have the pinks. So let's take that off. And lay it here beside of the journal. I'm going to lay it where it's so pretty. I want it to be very pretty. Very eye pleasing. Oh, you can't see it because I got you. Okay. I don't want to go too far out. Um, okay, so... With this journal, like I said, you get the belly band that will hold the journal together. The edges of the book, I made sure to do that on the edges all the way around, on the front and the back. And this is a spine covered journal. Let me get this on off here. Put that down. This is how this looks. Just lay all those pieces out. There you go. And it's real cute. I love it because it's flowing like fluffy, like fluffy. This is the temporary, or not the temporary, but the um, extra uh, spine jewelry. It's when you don't have this on, you'll have, still have a little bit of pretty hang in there. And all it is is um, a pendant heart that goes on a necklace that I love. I so love this pendant heart. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's on both sides. Anyways, that and the little key to go with it. Just It just sets it off. I just love it. It's just so cute. And it just hangs from the journal's spine, as you can see. Now we have the spine cover uh, that is just lace that goes down it to cover up the holes where I sewed the binding into, or the, the signatures into the journal. Uh, that's why it's there. You can see it in certain places, like right here. You can still see it, but, you know, I did my best to hide it, and my best was going to have to be good enough. So, this is vintage lace, and I did, I had two pieces of it, and I cut them, I cut a big, because they were about that wide, so I cut all the way to here to there. And I took the other piece, and it's on the back side, and I met them right here across the spine. So that gave them an extra amount of spine coverage for the spine. Let's take a look at it. Okay. 
This is the first page or the first part. This is the Libre and this is where you will put uh, your name here. This is where you'll put your name. And as you can see, I did decorate the edges because I just thought that would be just so cute. It's hard to see it from far off and the brightness of my lights too, but it's just cute and that's on front and back. And then there's always the first page. You can write on that if you want to, but I made it into like a book. And this is where you'll uh, name your book. This is the spot where you'll write the name of the book. What you want to name it. If you don't want to name it ro the, the pink rose, you don't have to. Uh, that's just what I'm calling it because it's got all these pink roses on it. And it's got a lot of pink in it. So that's why I called it pink rose. You can name it whatever you want. That's the reason why I'm putting this blank here for you. And then we have, a, I made sure to leave a lot of paper in it like this for you to write on. Uh, this is our first pocket right here, and in it there is a journal card, and it just has a little saying from Les Brown, whoever that is, and it's a journal card you can write on the back. When this is vintage uh, lace up here, this paper here is it has a scent to it, and this one is the scent of roses. That's why I think this is what caused me to make this journal is because I actually had this, and I didn't want to lose that scent from it. So I went ahead and put it in here, and because it's closed up, when you open this journal, it's going to have the scent on this. Yeah, I still smell the, the rose in it, so just wanted to share that with you. So that's just the first little journal card there. And then on the back of the pocket, it has the pretty little vellum from Tim Holtz, and it has these pretty fonts and stuff, and I just love that. So I put it there. So anyways, here's your two pages that I was referring to that you will be able to do whatever you want to to them. And as you see, there is a rose on the bottom of each one of them. And it'll be like that all throughout it. Um, so here is the second pocket. And it has the lines on the back. It's just really pretty. You get this little pretty, um, what do you call them, uh, tag. And in it, you'll have a vintage and vintage is 1960, believe it or not. And I feel really old when I look at this. I'm not 1960, I'm 1969. That was my birth year. But this is a letter. So I'm going to leave that to the person that purchases the journal to be the first ones to read it. I don't know if I read that one or not. Yeah. And then the pretty pink, uh, vintage y looking uh, washi sticker rose. And we have two pages and then we have some more of that paper that I was referring to it has all kinds of other flowers in it too but it has a lot of pink roses in there and when you it's not a scratch and sniff but I do this for some reason I think it's because of my my uh, childhood the scratch and sniff things but anyways yep oh, wow that's really nice oh, I love that smell anyways it's a beautiful scented of a uh, like a powdery rose nothing like your grandmother but something like your grandmother if that makes sense but anyways it's really it's really sweet I love that smell and this is part of that um, lace here that I had left so I edged it like that to put it on there like that I even singed it to make sure it wasn't frayed or anything and that is on the edge. There's the pocket on the other side with a uh, couple of things in the pocket just for you to write on. Oh, guess what I just found? I just found the, the thumb hole thing. I couldn't find it that day. <laughs> what you find later on. It's just so funny. You don't expect that kind of stuff to happen to you, you know? Trying to make sure it gets down in there. And then... And then we have the two pages, and then we have another pocket. These are just uh, little pockets that are created. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's just from a sandwich bag, uh, a white sandwich bag, and I took the gusset and turned the gusset of the bag into a pocket. So that's what this is. And this has a um, washi sticker of a rose on the front to match the journal. And then we have these peat type. They call them peat because it's plastic. Uh, type um, uh, washi stickers. I loved them. I didn't know they were plastic though when I bought them. I didn't read it. And when I got them, I was like, I had to go back and look and see that they were, as you can see, the shine. I don't know if you can see that shininess. See? 
I don't like shiny. <laughs> I don't like shiny when it comes to my journals. Uh, but it is there, so a loss. I can't help that. Um, and then you have a tea stained uh, tag that's then real pretty. But yeah, and these are just pink roses, and I put that as the background on this side. And you get your two pages there. And then we have this pretty little, um, this is a pretty, isn't those pretty? Those are pretty. Put that to the side for a second. Now right here is, these are uh, squares that you use to make quilts with. And this one matched really well with that type rose because it has the pink and the yellow in it. And so I put it on there as a grab so that you can open it up and make an extended page. And as you can see, it has this pretty, uh, it's, it's a paper, I mean, it's a, um, yeah, it's a vintage letter in the background. It's one of my digitals. And I use that as the background. I even use the Martha Stewart hole punch on the corners with the green in the background to bring this side over. So it looks really cute together. And of course, the rose paper again, uh, along with this pocket here. And this, this is a notebook. When you lift it, you get the note paper inside so that you can write all the stuff you need to. I just love it. And I did do the whole punch over there. And then you have one of these, and this one says lay away. <laughs> this little tag and a, um, what they called a calling card in the 18th century. It's kind of like their credit card, not the credit cards, uh, their business cards. But it was singular for like a housewife even could have one. And this one was Elise, Elisa, Eliza, Eliza. I don't know. I don't want to butcher the person's name. That's the name right there. And I do believe this is just a copy. This is not the original because uh, I did not own that one. I bought that uh, digital for this journal because I wanted a pink one. And then we have this side here, which is another pocket. I'm going to pull that out. This is one of my vintage receipts. Um, but yeah, and it's from the 1898. It's just a photograph. Uh, photocopy of it and there's a pocket here now this pocket is kind of like a hidden pocket I'm just gonna say that right now um, but this is the uh, it's a little print that sim someone did and sent it to me as you can see there's even some paint on it uh, all it is is uh, I guess a stamp but the background you can tell they made so it's probably some jelly print. I don't know. It came with an order and that I bought, and she gave that to me. So I thought I'd throw it in. Now this goes beyond this bin. This is a huge, huge pocket, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. And that's why I did that, so you'll understand whenever you take that out. And I have an arrow letting you know that there's a pocket down in there. I would put more stuff in there, but I don't want that. I want it to stay flat. So, yeah. And that's what's in that pocket and I want to make sure it stays closed so I use the paper clip put it here there we go and that's the center of the signature and that's the back page you can write on this and you can of course write through all it you can put pockets on there if you want to sorry my thing keeps moving I just seen that it went too far back Anyways, um, so you have two more pages here, and on this page here, I put a little bit of fabric with some pink lines on it. Uh, I just thought that would look really pretty there. Here's another one of those. Oh, I didn't talk about this. Uh, no, it is. It's like the one on the other side that I showed you. It's just the other part to the sandwich bag, and this is the gusset where you just glue it right here, and then it's part of the signature. Um, but it has another one of the calling cards in this one. This one's it looks like it says Eben. Eben. Maybe it's a guy. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I colorized the backs to make them match the front. So when I print them out, they don't come that way. It's just the, the side. And then we have a little tag that I... Uh, this was a something I got and I didn't want to waste it. So I turned it into a little tag. It's just a little bunny rabbit. There's the back. And this is just another one of those. Oh, and I see something fell down in there. If I can get to it, if I can grab it. It's just one of those uh, plastic stickers with a rose for you that you can uh, 
use for whatever purpose you would like. And then there's one of the vintage looking washi sticker roses that I put on there because I just love these. These are my favorite roses, uh, stickers that I have. And this is washi sticker. This is not a peat rose, a peat sticker, sorry. And peat just means plastic. I don't know what the rest of it means. I just know the P stands for plastic. Uh, and then there's those two pages. And then we have this page, which is that uh, rose scented paper again. And then I have a sticker here of uh, one of my seed packs. And this is a um, digital that I downloaded. I paid for and downloaded. And I thought that would look cute. And I put a paper bag kind of a stuff on the back. And then another... Um, tag and then the lace on the edge oh, I just love this paper it just smells so good I smell it just now it smells so good and then two pages and then you have another one of those cards this one might be a real one because I bought some too I think this one is real uh, this is an original. Yeah, it's more card stock than the other one. So you'll be able to tell whenever you get it. And the edges are worn, too, as well. So, anyway. Uh, that is a little spot to tuck things down underneath there. I forget what that kind of pocket's called. But I use it to tuck things underneath. And then we have um, a vintage... Um, I guess it's an advertisement for some perfume. There's that. And then I put it over here to the side so that you can see the pretty washi sticker rose but you can do whatever you want this is the back I need to make sure that goes down so it doesn't get hit and then we have the two pages and then we have this pretty I love this this is so pretty it's got an iridescence to it and it's it was uh, vellum it was some that I found at the resale store and I thought it was so pretty I had to put it in here so that's what it's for this is just an envelope that I put a piece of paper in there to divide the pocket into three so you have one two three pockets in one and I stuck these little uh, notepad papers in here in each pocket so you can see there's three pockets here I'm trying to get down in there and I keep hitting that edge and there we go and there's three of those try and get that one down in there because it looks like it's getting bent oh it's long that's why it's longer than the other ones it happens. You can write here or you can decorate this side if you want to. You can even put one of those right here and give that pink rose effect there. We've got two more pages here and on this side I just covered it. This is the last of that signature. So I wanted to make sure the back of the signature was real rosy. And you can write over this. It's not too dark. Yeah. And then we have a pocket on the front of this signature. And in the pocket we have a little, um, what do you call them, journal card. Now I left this blank so you could color it in with pencils. I like doing that with my journals, just to let you know. Um, and this one is a cute little pocket too. It's tr it's uh, two-toned, I like that. And uh, we have a pretty little washi sticker rose here with a journal card in the pocket that looks like a tag as well. I'm trying to get down in there. There we go. No, nope, it's still sticking up. There we go. And on the back is that paper again that's, scent, that's scented like a rose. So, and this is, has some vintage lace on it. Um, so we have these pockets here with some viney stuff and um, some washi stickers. And these are just envelopes that I cut longwise so that they could be in the signature and turned into pockets and that I did that yellow because of the yellow that's in here that's why you will see some yellows throughout the journal it keeps sliding sorry y'all and then this is just some little uh, things that you can write on little ta little tag kind of things you can write on and here is a pretty little um, paper doily and on the back you have the washi sticker rose it's pink to represent the journal and in it you have a card that is I do believe this it, it speaks it in Russian on the back and on this side is in English and so I just put that in there it says pretty and beautiful because roses are very pretty and very beautiful 
and that just goes in that pocket to let you know that it is a pocket. I wanted the word to stick out, but it looks like we're going to go with pretty instead. I lined the paper uh, doily with a piece of paper so that it would not tear up little pieces so that when you're using it, it won't do that. So it's strong now. So you can still use this as a pocket now. Okay. And then we have one of the bags that I was referring to that I love making. Uh, this is why I don't like putting raised things in my journals is because it does impression the page before it or after it and when you go to write here it's a bump there so you're going to feel that when you're writing uh, you may have to get some kind of uh, cardstock or something like that I might throw something like that in here for you to use uh, because of that anyways this is just one of those uh, um, little I don't know how to put it, little bracket thingy, whatever. It's a little tuck spot for you to put your your pocket so that it stays closed. My little locking mechanism, there we go. And I just put a little dusting of green on it because of the green over here. And then when you flip it over, I made sure to put a pink rose to bring the rose in too. And it's outlined as well in pink. And inside of the pocket, you get some goodies that's down inside there. And a lot of times you'll find vintage stuff in my goodies, so just saying that you might see some goodies in there that's vintage. Now on this one we have some, this is a uh, book that I bought that I love the little flowers. I'm an artist and I love to draw and paint flowers and stuff like that. So when I bought it I wanted to use it as a reference and instead I ended up using it in this journal. And I just dusted the rose that's in this one. It's a white rose there. I just dusted it with some stickles. Can you see it? Just barely. I'm trying to get in the light. There you go. You can see it a little bit. It's the only one. I didn't want to bring any of the other flowers forward. I just wanted the rose to be brought forward. So, to take be noticed. And there's a tag here with a ro pink rose on it. A little tab. And I have this here. So, when I open it, you'll take that off. And then just lift up. So that you can write right here. And then this goes right back on to keep that closed because otherwise it catches. All of them do that no matter what you do. Everybody's journal has that issue. Now see so you can turn this into a, um, what do they call it, just a dangle for the bottom as well because it can hang from the bottom. I thought it would be pretty to put over the top to put as a uh, spine jewelry when you don't have your spine jewelry on there. Anyways, the inside has all these pretty roses and flowers and stuff, so I left that alone. I just wanted that to be like it is. I was going to stickle each one of the roses, but I was like, that's overkill. I did put some washi sticker over here that has a rose with a leaf. <laughs> and on this side, same papers, and I split that one in half, and I'll take this out so you can see. Turn it into two pockets. And you'll be able to see this pocket with the thumb hole and this one too. But I stickle this one right here, the pink rose. You get these little uh, things. And I wanted this to be on the front forefront. So you'd see the pink rose on it. And then there's the tags in the back with the pink roses. And then we have some vintage uh, lace on the edge of this page. And then we have another one of those uh, things from the paper baggies. And inside of there is a piece of that that uh, floral paper. And I just left it alone. Just cut it and put it in there. And it's scented as well. You can write on the back. Just put that up there. And then we have the little to and from sticker. Or just to sticker. And then we have these pretty little roses here. And yeah. Wait. Was there something else there? No, that's it. Okay. It's made strong that way. And then you write on here if you want to or decorate it however you wish. And then here's the other side with the little paper doily as well. And the pretty pink, pale pink roses. On the other side we have green inside the pocket instead to strengthen the paper of the, the, um, what are these things called? doily the paper doily so that it doesn't rip in pieces and it's very strong with that paper in there and then we have just a tag in there 
and then we have those two papers and then we have the two pockets again from the envelope that I turned into a signature and in it you'll have little uh, tags that I created to specifically go with this journal and this one right here is just a digital that's also a tag and then this is just a pretty little journal card that I got with a, a bulk amount of journal cards that I bought from a company. Uh, and then we have the two more. I'm trying to separate these every once in a while so that they'll be separated when you get them. It's going to be fluffy when I get done. Anyways, uh, this is Stickle. It's got pink roses on it with a yellow rose and I made sure to go with the color tone. Uh, the yellow, I used yellow stickles and with the pink, I used the pink stickles. And then I put this pretty vintage lace on the side. And I'm just going to show you the dusting. I call it dusting of stickles. And this is a pocket in the back back there. And there's the journal card with a rose tag on it. I don't know, does it? It's just pink dots. And my doily stuck to me. <laughs> there you go. Get that back down in there and turn the page. This side is blank so that you can do whatever you wish to do there. Just put that there. Two more pages. And then this is some lace that I got from, I think it was Hobby Lobby, and I just thought it was so cute. They got little gemstones, not gemstones, but little seed beads and uh, uh, rhinestones, I think. Not rhinestone, what do they call those? Um, anyways, they. Um, they catch the light and it just looks so pretty and as you can see this is the new signature there's the division of the new signature and I changed the color of the rose to a yellow rose because my mother loved yellow roses I had to add her in there <laughs> there's a pink rose here a wash sticker like on the other ones and it's kind of like I kind of try to keep the same thought in mind throughout the journal with certain things and these I just thought these were really cute when I did the first one, I had to make the rest have one. <laughs> it's my mind and how it works. Uh, this is some, I forget who this is. It could be, uh, uh, what's it called? Something other fern. Oh, it's been so long. Blue fern, I think it's called. But anyways, I think that's her paper. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. It could be just some that I found online. And here is a fussy cutting of some of a bouquet of roses from a digital and I dusted them with the stickles again making them look very pretty but not overkill as they call it just when you're looking at it it just gives you joy <laughs> it's reminiscing of the reason why I do it is because it reminds me of the birthday cards and stuff like that that my mom had when we was kids that she would give to people and they were from like the 50s and 60s. <laughs> I still had one that I actually kept. Now this pocket here is the same as these pockets here. And so sandwich bag I use. This one is shorter. I cut off this gusset that's right here. This is a gusset. The gusset that was up here I took off and that's why it's shorter. Or this one is longer. You can actually see the line where the gusset would have been folded down. And I just put it upwards instead and turn it into a longer pocket. And in this pocket of this one, <laughs> we have a vintage picture of a woman in a beautiful vintage dress. We have a, um, a sticker, a washi sticker of a dragonfly and a uh, digital of a rose in there. And it's just for you to write on, basically that's all it is. Um, and this one right here is a handmade one from me, just from some tissue paper with a rose on it and I stamped it with my script stamp and I just tried to edge it with some inks to give it that look. This is one of my very first pieces, so don't hate on me too much, you know. It's the best I could do at that time because I didn't have a lot of stuff and I was just learning. And I just had that all this time and I thought that would look cute with this journal. And of course, another piece of that paper from possibly from Blue Fern. And as you can see, we have the plastic uh, type um, stickers on here. And you can see that was a sandwich bag by the line right there where they connect them together. But you can, I left this blank so that you can write on it. I, don't, I wanted it to stay clean like looking and not have a whole bunch of uh, stuff fussying over it. 
when it needed to be simple and clean looking and tight. I wanted it to be small. And on this one here, this is a pocket and in the pocket is a vintage C pack. This is a sticker, by the way. This is not the original. This is a sticker. I made um, a lot of digitals for myself to use. Uh, but we have a, a sticker, a washi sticker here, and I put a little tab here. And this is some like pearl type uh, paper. So when you're looking at it, it's real pearly, but you can't see it from far off. But I have this edging. You'll see in just a second when I open, you know, when I flip it. But you'll see. And this is what it looks like. It's a real pretty cool paper. Can you see that? It's like a pearlescence. And I left it like that. I thought that would be so pretty in here. And you can see I did this uh, on the top and bottom. And it was longer than the pocket. So it kind of hung over. And I was like, oh, oh well. You know? And I just cut this on the edge with my scissors. And then, of course, there's the back to hide the uh, connection of the paper with the... Um, envelope that I did and I made sure to use the paper from this to make the tag so it comes together and we have the two more pages and I have this pocket it's got these little um, bows on some fabric here to be like a little tab to pull on um, the only thing is, is these are the same bows as the ones that's on the front and the very back that I was talking about that goes on the corners here I took the, the pearl off of it. This is the pearl. Now you'll understand why I did that. See how high they stand up? And that will leave a very big indention. With them here, they're on the outside of the pages so it doesn't hit anything. So that's why I did that. You have a vintage letter here from 1958 that you can read at your, at your, your convenience. It's two pages uh, of letter front and back. And a, another one of my handmade cards that I first did when I first started. So it's not the greatest looking. <laughs> it was my best. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> and I've gotten better over time. So there's that vellum again with that iridescence to it. This is where they might get moved. And then on these are yellow. I think I already talked about that though. And then we have this pretty lace that I bought. I love hearts. That's the reason why I bought it. Because <laughs> I love the hearts. And then we have two more pages. Oh no, it's just one more because it's that page and this page. And then we come to this one. I just uh, edged it with some fabric. We have a heart shaped uh, paper clip here. And on that paper clip, we have this little removable pocket, I call it, and journal card at the same time. So in it, it just says wisdom. It has all these roses. And when you pull this out, you have this pretty floral background with little rose florals in there just here and there and on the back you can write with a little rose on the back and the inside is pink or not pink it's like a reddish color and on the back is a place where you can journal and there's roses and that goes right here so we're going to keep that off for right now i'm going to take this off as well this is what the paper clip looks like i love these i think they're just so cute i think i got them from daiso so if you want to buy them i think they're at daiso I put some uh, lines here so that you can write on this. And there's a little red rose and there's a vine. I just love that paper. This is what the paper looks like. I made it have three pages. This is what they call an extended page. And there's lines for you to write on here. Made sure to put the roses on all three bins. And then when you flip it to this side, you again, guess what, have a secret pocket. I made sure to put it on this one so that that person would know from the other one if they didn't get it with the other one there's a secret pocket <laughs> and maybe they'll get that with the other one then but we have um, a um, these this is a digital I created for myself of the radio um, bingo cards it was a game they used to do uh, this might be the original one though because they even have like ink on that one I don't know if you can see the ink where they were trying to use it but yeah this might be the original I don't know I don't think it is I don't know. You'll have to figure that out yourself because I'm almost positive it's, it looks real. <laughs> so this is one of my uh, vintage uh, receipts and it's just a copy. I wanted to put it in there in the center. I thought it would be cute. So this is just to hold this down so it doesn't hit that every time you push it back. This is a vintage uh, page from a book, from a vintage book. 
of roses. And I just thought that would be cute in here. There's the back. I don't remember. I don't really know because the piece that was given to me, this piece, was given to me by another YouTuber in a journal I bought from her. So, and uh, one of those guest tags that you can use to write on because there's plenty of writing spaces on there. And I just thought that would be cute. That goes here. I'll put that up there again and put the paper clip back on. Uh oh, what did I do? Too far. Bear with me, y'all. And that goes to the edge right there. So it holds it down better. Okay. Okay, so there is that. I had to put it back together without just so that you wouldn't be bored of that. Two more pages. And then we have this pocket here that has two little pockets and you have this little journal card here that you can write on and I left that white in the background so you can see because it's divided so well that I couldn't even tell that there was you know when I went back to do it I only put it up here forgetting I actually had a pocket back here so there's a longer pocket this is the length of this so this is a longer piece right here uh, and this is the smaller um, journal piece that you can write on this is, I do believe, yeah, just another thing you can write on. Of my personal digitals. You can write on that spot. And then you have the two back, you know, little pages there. And then we have this piece here. Kind of straighten that out. And because it sticks up higher than the rest, and so it gets a little bent. Uh, but it's got a little rose on the front and on the back. And then you have the roses here and there. As I said, I don't know if that's from uh, Blue Fern or not. If you know it, then please say below. But I think this is just a regular company or something. A random person or something that I bought from. I don't know. Uh, this is a digital that I bought, though. And it has a pink rose on it. And then we have the yellow to bring all the other yellows together. Another pocket. Another... A sandwich bag pocket with a vintage style colored um, rose st uh, washi sticker. And you open it up and then you have this. I put this in there. This is vintage. I put it in this to keep it safe. This is from the 1900s, around 1900, 1910. And it was for, it was an applique K that they hand did back in the day um, to put on a dress. And so. I thought I'd put it in here for you. I bought that online and they just sent it in a um, kind of like a, what do they call that? Kind of like parchment paper feels like. I forget what they call it. But I want you to be able to see it so I put it in this plastic one here. And then we have um, a picture of a, a woman in vintage, in the vintage days. And then a little, just a little pocket stuffer kind of thing. And a little uh, digital that I purchased put onto cardstock and made into a journal card. And then this goes right back in there. Actually, that needs to be seen. There we go. Good. It was the main attraction for this pocket. And then we have another one that says beautiful, excellent, and fine. I made sure to put beautiful upwards because <laughs> I couldn't do it with the other one. Uh, Russia is these, you can see the names the words on this side and then turn it over and pronounce it from these words. Don't ask me how because I do not know. <laughs> and then just another tag in the back with these peat stickers on there. And a place to write on. And there is some, um, this is not vintage. I don't think this is. I think this is a roll that I bought at Hobby Lobby, but it could be. Don't hold me to it because I don't really remember. Uh, where I got that one. <laughs> it's been so long. And then you can write on these pages here. And I think we're at the last page. And this is a paper doily again, reinforced with paper with a um, pretty pink rose uh, digital that I purchased to go on some cardstock to make another tag journal card, uh, like a journal card for you. So we'll just leave that sticking up. And then the washi. Uh, sticker on the back and then the last pages 
right here and here with the roses on them. And then here's the last page page of the journal. So you can still put that to use if you wish to. And that is her. She is real thick now because I've been uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Please comment. It helps my channel grow. Bye.